Attention, Kmart shoppers. Welcome and thank you for shopping with us here at Kmart in Sweetwater, where we bring fun and excitement to your shopping experience, as well as thousands of holiday savings throughout our store. And right now, you're just in time for the Blue Light Special. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, direct your attention to the flashing blue light. Because we have a blue light on shoes. Yes. Believe it or not, you can get some incredible athletic shoes as long as you can spell the name. Kmart is your saving store where your dollar buys you more. We're building a great name. A name that means quality. A name that means comfort. A name that means style. Now, as long as you can spell these incredible athletic shoes you can get 50 percent off the already low price from the blue light welcome back to the channel everyone thanks for joining me today for voting video number 372 in the incredible mandela effect voting video series i'm back i missed everybody it's time to do another voting video so let's do this i saw this and it totally blew my mind now this is probably not going to affect everybody in fact, I know it won't. If you're under probably, I don't know, 35 to 40 years of age, this, this is not really going to affect you because these were popular in the 70s and 80s at Kmart, one of the largest retail stores in the country before Walmart and Target overtook their spot as number one. But at one point, they were opening a new store every week in the 70s. So how do you spell tracks? I had tracks. I wished I had Nikes. Kids love to make fun of track shoes. You know, there was a joke about, there were a lot of jokes about Kmart. I saw you at Kmart. You know, what were you doing there? Ha ha ha. Well, how'd you see me there unless you were there? The kids were so stupid, you know, calling themselves out by seeing you there. <laughs> I don't know. Kids love to make fun of Kmart and my parents, I had a single income family. My dad worked. My mom was a stay at home homemaker. And so my brother and I, we got to enjoy some tracks. Yeah. Instead of the Nikes that we wanted and that the cool kids were wearing, I'd love to make fun of the kids that didn't have them. So I remember my tracks very well. And I remember how the name was spelled. I always thought it was an odd spelling. I always wondered why they had two X's. Well, here we are with the Mandela effect, and why would I be wondering why they had two X's? Because they never did. <laughs> no, nope, Trax never had two X's, just one X, and these three red arrows that the deniers are going to say, oh, well, you thought those were another X, you know, in typical deny denier fashion. Now, I don't know about all this. This looks odd. You know, that wasn't typical back in the 70s, 80s to be combining all the letters together, but I couldn't tell you if it was like this or not. What I can tell you is I'm 100% sure that these were spelled T-R-A-X-X. -X. That's how the shoes were spelled. I had a pair of these, uh, where are they at here? I probably had a pair of those. You know, look at, these look like Nikes and these look like Adidas. Come on, everybody. Comments down below if you had some tracks. <laughs> I certainly had my fair share of tracks. I don't know. I wore them probably from the time I was walking till I was about 11, I guess. They were cheap shoes that, that you could get. And Oh, yeah. Oh, the memories of tracks. Well, in 1980, I thought my blue tracks, T-R-A-X-X, -X, shoes from Kmart were the coolest shoes I had ever worn. I, <laughs> Well, I'm sorry to say, but my experience was not the same as this person here writing this article. They look somewhat similar to the popular Nike shoe with the big check mark on the side. We have to go to Twitter for this one. Please thumb this video up if you recall T-R-A-X-X. -X. If they were always T-R-A-X for you, please thumb down this video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please don't vote. Seems like they felt like they were made of plastic, unless I'm thinking of Trax from Kmart, T-R-A-X-X. -X. You could buy them at Kmart. I learned in the third grade that it was better to wear plain, everyday, boring shoes than to ever be caught wearing Trax. Oh, I feel your pain, Susie. 
I remember I had to fight my way out of several dis different situations to make people shut up. The result of my humiliation resulted in an obsession with Nike. I remain a mostly Nike girl to this day. In 1986, Larry Bird won the three-point contest wearing old TRA XX gym shoes that he bought from a French Lick West Baden Kmart. There they are. They put the image here, TRAX, yet they decided to spell it TRAXX in their post in February of this year. Lots of people remember TRAXX. Now, if you just can't spell, why are you going to add another X? This is the same argument with Dilemma, D L I D I L E M M A. Sorry. D I L E M M A. Dilemma, right? It was always D I L E M N A. If you don't know how to spell, you would probably put D I L E M A, just one M, because you didn't, you know, don't know how to spell. So you didn't know it has two M's. You certainly aren't going to put an N. Why would you put a silent N if you just can't spell? That makes no sense whatsoever. But yet it was always Dilemna. I remember saying it as Dilemna in my head. I knew it wasn't pronounced that way. It had an N. Well, Trax had two X's. Thumb this video up if you agree with me. Go ahead and thumb it down if you don't. For me, it was the kids that didn't have to wear Kmart Trax and Huskies or the kids that had a baseball mitt that didn't have at least three other names written on it that were scratched out with a marker. <laughs> yeah, we didn't all have rich parents back in the 70s and 80s. Kmart, 1977, after getting a sweet new pair of TRAXX Trax athletic shoes. It goes on and on, everybody. Twitter's the place to be with Trax. With the memory of Trax, T-R-A-X-X, Kmart brand shoes. In my research, I noticed in Saskatchewan, Canada, there's actually a company called T-R-A-X-X Shoes. But that's just a small little family business in Canada only, I believe. The brand from Kmart was exclusive to Kmart, and it was T-R-A-X-X. However, thanks to the Mandela Effect, it's always been T-R-A-X. So the examples just go on and on of people who remember T-R-A-X-X. -X. Of course, there's newspapers. Let's see. I need another hamburger, Dunbar said, as he scurried in tracks running shoes. Tracks, T-R-A-X-X. Here we have things took a strange turn around 2 a.m. when Kobe woke to see Bolin changing out of a pair of bloody tracks tennis shoes. Here's a 2002 newspaper article. Once synonymous with polyester and fashion disasters, remember Trax athletic shoes? Kmart, T-R-A-X-X, -X, another Trax newspaper. Kmart talks target teens. Of course, Kmart fashion used to mean Trax tennis shoes, T-R-A-X-X. -X. I mean, it just goes on and on. There's a lot of reality residue for this one, everyone. That's going to be it. Please vote. Please comment down below. I'll be having more videos coming out soon. It's time to continue the voting video series. You know, there's a lot of people still denying the Mandela effect. I don't see how you could possibly deny it if you were to go through all of the stuff that I've brought forth the past five years. Most people aren't going to look at what we've been looking at, at what I've been showing for five years. They're just going to see Looney Tunes and Febreze and say, oh, people, you know, they typically... Uh, misremember things, which by the way, you can't possibly misremember something you never knew. You know, when you misremember something, like say I had hamburgers on Saturday night and I tell my son we had chicken. He's like, no, dad, we had hamburgers. Remember we went to the store and we got the hamburgers and you, you saw that diamond ring for mom and you, and you went ahead and picked it up. <laughs> yeah, remember? Oh yeah, yeah. I remember the diamond ring. Yeah. And we got hamburgers. That's right. I remember getting the, the, the hamburger meat Saturday. I remember now we did have hamburgers on Saturday. That's misremembering because you can remember the truth. But with the Mandela effect, you know, someone says, hey, remember Looney Tunes, T-U-N-E-S, like iTunes? No, I don't. I don't ever remember that. I'm not misremembering T-O-O-N-S because I never knew T-U-N-E-S. I'm not misremembering because I never knew it that way. This misremembering thing is just total BS. You don't misremember things you never knew. That's just ridiculous. But, you know, people that are scared of the Mandela effect and can't think outside their little box, they have to come up with ways of feeling comfortable, right? So they come up with BS like that. 
So whatever. You know, we've been dealing with this for so long. It's just frustrating seeing these people just deny the Mandela effect when after you've seen what we've seen, and, and it isn't just seeing what we've seen, you know. We've lived through it. I live through it every day. I, I constantly, even though I haven't been making many videos, I see the Mandela effect all around me. And, you know, I have family, don't like, really like to hear about it. And so I try not to talk about it. I don't want to upset the family. It's something I kind of live with on my own. But I know it's it's 100% real. There's there's no there's no even shred of doubt that I just misremembered five, six, seven hundred things that I just all of a sudden started learning about around 2016. You know, there were a few before that that I've mentioned that I noticed on my own before I ever heard of the Mandela effect. Like Jiffy, I picked up a, a jar of Jiffy around 2013. The Jiffy changed their logo to Jiff. And so I saw JIF and it looked foreign. I didn't recognize it because it had been Jiffy my whole life. And so what did I do? I threw it in the cart and I went on with my life, figuring that they changed the logo. And I know that happened to a lot of us as the Mandela effect started creeping into our reality. So that's about it, everyone. You know, I'll have to be making some more videos on some concepts I've been thinking about. How basically, you know, there is no out there. Everything is in here. Everything we see out there is actually in here. And, you know, it's part of what's going on. There's the hear what you want phenomenon. I have a new one. I maybe can make a video on that soon. I hope everyone's doing well. I miss talking with everybody. Maybe I'll have to go live at some point. The Mandela effect is, is so incredible. And, you know, it's so exciting thinking about where this is going to lead. We'll just have to wait and see. But it's not going away. <laughs> it certainly has calmed down. I've seen some things that kind of made me go, hmm. But I've never really had anything in the last, I don't know, several weeks, month even, that really stood out until this tracks thing. I know it had two X's. So, you know, I I'm trying to bring things that mean a lot to me. You know, people are pointing out things that may mean a lot to them and other people. And I don't want to say that those aren't Mandela effects because Mandela effect isn't something that just affects everybody because there are no Mandela effects that affect everybody. You're going to find people that don't have the old memory. So you can't just say, oh, that's not a Mandela effect unless it affects everyone. No, that's totally incorrect. You don't know what you're talking about. So that's it, everybody. I will talk to everyone soon. Please vote, comment down below. Go create the reality that you want.